Oh my God. <laughs> Sound quality improves. So guys, I've had Tesla Solar and Powerwall operating for about a week now. And so far, I love it. I do want to make a video where I show how much my electric bill is afterwards, but I want to give it some time because you can't just do a week. You need to do a longer period of time because weather, everything like that can change and influence your electric bill. So I want some more time for that. But in the meantime, I wanted to talk about an interesting situation. Um, I do want to preface this, though. I'm not bashing anybody that charges their Tesla without solar or without Powerwall. I just wanted to point out for those of you that are interested in charging your Tesla, and you would be really proud to say that your Tesla is 100% charged from the sun. You have to get Powerwall. The Powerwall, what does that do? So let me just show you guys. So I'm going to record my phone so you can see everything that I see. So let's just look at my, my system right now just as normal. So right now we have 6.3 kilowatts of energy coming from solar. 3.6 is going to the house. 2.7 is going to Powerwall. So basically what the Powerwall does, it just collects as excess energy throughout the day and then it gives it to you when you need it. Now that time typically is at night or if the power goes out, but there's times during the day where you can get peak loads that require more than what your solar produces. For example, if you're charging your EV. So let me show you what that looks like. Um, so I'm going to go to my Tesla. I'm going to go to charging and I'm going to bump up the charging to 90% just so you can get an idea of what's going on. So right now it's charging at three kilowatts, four, and it maxes out at eight. So I'm gonna go back to the power walls and show you what it looks like at that time. So like it's at six, seven, eight. Yeah, there we go, eight. So now the home has 11.2 kilowatt demand. So it's basically half solar, half power wall. So what the power walls do, it allows you to continue to power your house and your car and your AC and your dryer and your oven, basically everything that requires a lot of electricity. If I didn't have the power wall and I had solar only, rest assured I would be getting some power from the grid going into my car. So if you want to be able to say that your car is 100% powered by the sun, you have to have power wall. So I'm actually gonna go turn off my power walls just really quick just to demonstrate what happens. So I have the power walls turned off completely. Now in the app, the power walls are gone. So my car and my house is being powered by both the sun and the grid. And due to the Tesla Model 3 requiring eight kilowatts of power, and with some chargers even more, it's impossible to get that power completely from the sun. So at this point, my house is still way greener and still running on way more renewable resources. It would be false to say that my Tesla is 100% powered by the sun right now. The juice going into it is a mixture of solar and grid power, which depending on your electric provider is not all 100% renewable resources. So if you want to be able to say your Tesla is powered by the sun, you got to have the power walls. Do I look hot? It's because I have had the AC off. That's why I asked for a like at the beginning of the video and you probably never gave it. That's why I'm sweating. The likes cool me down. So the power walls do give you a lot of different benefits. You can, they can operate as a backup generator at night. They allow your solar panels to work during the day if the grid is down. They allow you to get extra power when you need it and still remain on renewable resources like the sun. But is it really worth it? That's a question only you can ask yourself and answer because they are a lot of money. And in a lot of situations, they can nearly double the price of your solar setup. For me, I spent $40,000. It's a lot, but the plan is to just pay it off as soon as possible. And then I have basically, you know, free electricity and all this reliance away from the grid. I'm very excited about it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Have a great day. Bye.